Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter and today I want to show you a bunch of ways you can speed up your computer and Final Cut Pro 10. Now with all these 4K cameras coming out and all these 4K cameras getting cheaper, a lot of us are shooting 4K. The problem is that we're still working on older computers, at least some people like me. So I'd love to upgrade to a new iMac with 5K and all that good stuff but I just can't afford it right now. So I'm trying to make Final Cut Pro 10 work even though I'm still using 4K cameras. So there's a bunch of different ways you can drastically improve Final Cut 10's performance. I'm gonna go through a bunch of them. First, there's a little setting that can help speed things up. And if we look at our viewer here, up here there's this little view dropdown. If we go from under quality from better quality to better performance, that might be just enough of an edge for you guys to speed up your machine, and it might not to display the image as nicely, but it's going to boost performance. The next way you can speed up Final Cut and your editing is to use optimized media. So if I pull up my media import window, you'll notice over here under transcoding, if I select a clip, I can check two options here. First is create optimized media. For those of us with older machines, we should take these compressed camera files and optimize them. So this is going to create ProRes files or whatever files you choose, and your computer should be able to edit these a lot more smoothly. The next way to speed up editing is to create proxy media. So sometimes I create both, but no matter what, when I import 4K footage, I always at least create proxy media. Proxy media is similar to optimized media in that it will transcode your footage, but it will create a really low res version, and that's what's going to be your proxy media. So if you go ahead and select this and you import a clip, once your clip is in your timeline, you can go up to that same little view dropdown and switch under media from optimize original to proxy, and that will let you easily and smoothly edit your project and you can always switch back to optimize original. So this is really huge. Proxy is one of the best ways to speed up Final Cut and keep your computer running smoothly. The next way to speed up Final Cut 10 is to change how you look at your footage in the browser. So over here we're looking at all of our clips here and if I scroll down really quickly see how it's having to render all these different clips so what I recommend is go underneath all of your libraries and there's these two tabs here we're gonna switch it to list and I just prefer this just in general for organization it's a lot easier to see all the clip names as well as our other information here and this is going to really really speed up Final Cut the only thing it's having to render is the little film strip at the top another method for speeding up Final Cut is going to be changing the clip appearance. So let me bring up a larger view of our timeline here. So you can see here in our timeline, we have all our clips, and right now we can see the waveform and we can see the actual image. You can change that all the way down in the lower right of the entire screen. So you click on this little film strip icon. We have a bunch of options here. This one all the way to the right, it's going to give you the fastest Final Cut experience. Go ahead and experiment with this and see what works well for you. And again, the one all the way to the right where it's just blank, this is going to be the fastest editing experience. Another way to speed up Final Cut Pro 10 is to close the effects browser and the inspector. So over here on the right, we have our inspector up here and then our uh, effects browser down below. Command four will hide your inspector. Command five will close your effects browser. Both of these panels when open are going to take some CPU away from everything else because every time you change a clip, it's having to read what's in that clip, what filters are on there, what are all the settings, how's the audio. It's going to have to constantly be switching as you move throughout your project. So if you're just doing basic editing or if you're starting a project and just assembling the project, go ahead and close all that stuff. And finally, if you wanna speed up Final Cut, try to keep your video scopes and your angles closed. So obviously, if you're doing multicam editing, you're gonna to need to have your uh, angles open here, but as soon as you can try to close those that's going to drastically improve the speed of your machine and Final Cut. So those are the seven ways you can speed up Final Cut, but there's a bunch of other little things that make a big difference as well. So I'm going to go through those now. 
The first is to make sure you close all other applications. This also is true for all this crap up here. The way you can check all this is to open up Activity Monitor. And from here, you can see what's eating up your CPU, and you can see maybe there's some things in the background that you can close. Another huge thing that will help Final Cut speed up is your drive speed. In a perfect world, we'd be working with 7200 RPM drives or higher, and we'd have Thunderbolt for our drive connection. I understand that this stuff is very expensive, so a lot of the drives I use are actually USB 3. That is a great compromise, still way faster than USB 2 or Firewire 800. Another tip is try to use a single hard drive per project. So you can have multiple projects on one drive, but the idea is you don't want all of these assets and video clips and files spread across, you know, two or three or more drives. Another tip is to make sure you have extra hard drive space when it comes to the hard drive that you're using. Try to have at least 100 extra gigabytes on the drive because the more space you have available on that drive, the faster it's going to be. And then finally, a very obvious one, check to see how much RAM is on your computer and if you can upgrade your RAM. Go ahead and see what you're at on your computer right now and see what you max out at and then there's a ton of websites out there that you can buy RAM from like Crucial, OWC, they have lots of different kits you can buy and easily upgrade your RAM. So there you have it, that is my list of tips and tricks to speed up Final Cut Pro 10. This is great if you have a slower machine and you're working with 4K and even uh, more intense machines if you want to just you know get things moving a little faster and smoother. Those are the tips I recommend. So thank you for watching. As always, you can check out more reviews and tutorials at dslrvideoshooter.com.